Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. At the end of the last episode I was just about to make, to make a barrel and I was just closing it off. I saw, oh, we've got a barrel already. Let's go and use that and start our little process down the bottom there. So, there we go. I don't want to finish this off, don't I, to get some lava in here. I'm just going to remove this piece here and see if it actually does work properly like I hope it does. And we'll put on top of this the barrel. Get the right thing. Now is no we have to make the transfer nodes first of all, don't we? Whoops. You know I forgot about that. Transfer nodes are oh, I wonder if my recipes are not working. Oh yeah, that's fine. Let's get this one done. It's got plenty of power in there, so I managed to store up those. Yeah, the usual startup game problems. Forgets what he was doing last time. So now I should be able to add onto here. A transfer node. Which should transfer fluids out of here. And how's that doing? Is that actually working? Oh yes, we're getting lava in there, no problem. So what we need to do now Hmm. As we need to put some water on top of this, don't we? So let's do that next. Have I got yes, I've got some cobblestone slabs, they'll do just fine. So if I put one on top of it like that, then I can fill around here the four squares. And jump crazily above it, put this one down here. And then we can just dig up this one like this. In the middle what we need next is a bucket of water I'll go upstairs and get one of those what I haven't told you about this is I'm probably recording this probably about 12 days before you see it because it, I'll tell you why because the children are awake and um, it gives me plenty of time to do make videos and it's quiet you see well except for the bills opposite which are knocking down this house or digging, digging pylons into the ground at the moment and that can be quite loud. So if I put this now on top of here like this, we get obsidian. So what I'm going to do next is to dig down here because I really should have put a transfer node underneath that, shouldn't I? Hope we don't get attacked in the process. Have I got a transfer node? I don't. Well, at least not there. Oh, yes, I've used up the two I've already prepared, haven't I? One for this. Oh. Feeding it in here and one to take. No, that's the fluid node. Let's go and see if I've got another transfer node. I'm not being very careful today. Yeah, and what happens when the children are working? Usually make about five episodes in a day. So let's have a look. Do we have a transfer node in here? Nope. I didn't keep any of those in this chest, did I? So now I'll have to make another one. So that's basically a block of iron and a uh, block of iron and a block of redstone. Make a block of redstone and iron we should have plenty of, but maybe we don't have any blocks at the moment. One will be enough to start with, I hope. Let's just put these two in there and then make a normal transfer node like that and then turn off the ender pearl, put the ender pearl back on again. So now we have a transfer node. And I think, oh well, I, if I, put, I could actually try it, couldn't I? We'll put it on the side. Nothing happens, it doesn't come in. If I put it on the bottom, you get obsidian in here, which is uh, what we want. So now that's basically the obsidian, and what I'm going to do next, I need to put, I'll have to put a chest or something, let's just fill in this hole here. At least with uh, this one and 
put some more pipe down here so we can get stuff out of it and we'll put it into a chest I think there is maybe I'll put it into a cache instead that's fairly straightforward and cheap because it's just well it's about the same amount of wood isn't it let me have a look and I've got some tin I hope yes I've got 15 ingots of tin Yeah, it's one piece of wood. That's basically the same as a chest. And I haven't got any wood. So I need some wood. Let's go and get some wood. There should be some in here. If not, I'm going to have to make some. Nope. No saplings, no wood. Because I I was trying to update this, wasn't I? To upgrade it, I mean. I didn't get around to it. Whoops. Wood. So where are my saplings? This will do it. Of course, I'm going to need to put in here some more water. We're using water reasonably fast. Wrong one. Let's put it in here. How many buckets of water have we got? 146. We've still got a reasonable amount of water Don't to worry about it just yet. Yes, that's now running. So we just need one piece of wood, really, don't we? So we can get to. There we go. And you see, you've got two saplings already. So we can finish that cache off. We can use that downstairs. I think I'll just put it on half to start with. And as you see, obsidian's now coming into this. I can shift right click to lock it. So that was obsidian done. Now I can speed this up, of course, by adding more crucibles to that. Now let's go and get a couple more crucibles. I know we got some of crest rewards, didn't we? So crucibles. Uh, are they still outside? they are. So that wouldn't... Oh, this tank's full. Okay, let's take this tank away. I'll have to leave the crystals there because I don't want to waste the materials in here. We can take the cobblestone out of that, that's one thing. And we'll take the we'll take the, the hopper as well. Which is good. In fact, we might as well take this chest. It's empty now, so this power chest. I'm not sure I've got any uses for it, mind you. And these have basically got a reasonable amount of uh, lava in them, so I'll leave that for the time being. Oh, I need some more sand, don't I, to get those going. Harvesting those automatically, I need a chest, a vacuum chest of some description, or some water flowing, if I'm doing it in a vanilla way. Let's have a look. I want to get rid of this lava, don't I? Let's go and put... Let's go and leave the lava for the time being. Let's just put it in here. I can't put it in here yet because we've got no more capacity. We've only got 10 slots. And I reckon these are the important ones anyway for the automation as much as we can do. So I can't do that. I'm going to just have to leave it here for the time being unless I take use buckets to get the lava out. But it's more efficient to use this. So what I could do is to make another tank. But I think I'll leave that for the time being. Anyway. Let's go and have a look at how we're doing with the quests. So, this is the last one on this where we actually got to submit 5.4 billion RF, which takes quite a long time to do. Um, oops, I pressed the wrong button there. So let's do that one. And now what else we've got? Elements, I think we're looking at elements, but these are a bit tricky for the time being, except for to make a metal former. Now maybe we can make a metal form and get a loot chest as a reward. Let's have a look at what the recipe for that is. It's bound to be an assembly machine recipe. 
Oops, not the wrong place. So here we have it. So, okay, it's 32 blocks of iron and 10 blocks of redstone. We create a metal former in the assembly table. That's quite a lot. So really what I want to do next is to get this, these ender chests going. I could do it a different way. It's going to take quite a long time. At this rate, 240 RF per tick is going to be a while. <coughs> so what else? Well, just a second. My voice is getting a bit cold-like today, so it's a bit creaky. Um, actually, I've got some potassium nitrate and some propane in here, which I don't want it now. Put those in the other chest. So I'm having a bit of a problem. What I'm trying to do is I'm trying to get the um, the I really need those ender chests to get this automated, but I could do it a different way. So let in the meantime, while we're waiting for that, let's just take some carbon. I think the carbon is where did I put the carbon? It's not in there, but I could actually make some more carbon with some couple let's take a stack of that it's not in there that's where we're going to sift to decompose it magnesium and there's no carbon in there so let's put 64 coal in here we now we need two stacks of this and I think I need to get rid of as much stuff as I can as well on me so we'll do that as well and then we'll go to the quarry and, and see if we can get the quarry working or take some stuff out of the quarry so I don't think we need these pulverized coal different types a basic capacitor bank the clock I'll keep with me we are for submission says we'll keep that there and mint okay and the bucket we'll put up here for the time being I think and I haven't got enough carbon I want two stacks of carbon not one and a half right so now we quickly get up to the quarry and get the stuff out of the quarry what we've got already in there wrong side do that first moon dirt moon turf sort that up a bit and then we'll put in the two carbons in here ah <laughs> well talk about being daft it would help if I actually got the sterling generator I completely forgotten I've taken the sterling generator and put it downstairs to get this um, to get the RF up So where are we? <coughs> what have I got here? Moon dirt. Let's put the moon dirt away. I think I want that for flu uh, for fuel. So we've got lots of moon dirt. Oh, I can now do that the easy way, can't I? Come along here, Control Shift moon, moon dirt, and you put it all into there. So we're only left with moon turf which we can come along here and put into the this chest like that and then we can come along here and remove we'll put the, we'll put the three fishing rods into the here first of all because they don't take very long and give us useful products and let's take out a few of the redstone we need some redstone gunpowder glowstone lots of gunpowder actually Let's clear that out. Is that what I can do? I can do the same with this, can't I? You see that's getting put away, but it's getting put away quite slowly. But we have got now plenty of uh, upgrades, so let's put an upgrade or so in there. 
So we really want the acceleration cards in here, don't we? So I'll take a couple of these out. Using a mouse roll, a sc scroll actually, I think I'll move scrolling upwards. So I put that onto this here like this, and we can fill that in. And then these should start to disappear a lot quicker, which they are. So when you've got a large number of items like that, it makes sense. Maybe I only need one. Anyway, I'll remember that for the next time if I need to do that. So now let's just go along here and those gunpowder bits. Where are they? 359. Let's just do this with those and convert those into real gunpowder and get rid of the. Oh, actually, I could have done more, couldn't I? Glowstone. Let's see. Uh, I need to get some iron going again, don't I? To make some iron blocks to make another to make this machine. So what have we got in here? That's right. That's blocks. We need to see the iron to get the iron going in here. I don't know. There's a more efficient way of doing this actually. Let's put that back in there. So now it's slowly making iron blocks, which is good. We'll leave that to do its work. And we'll make our 10 blocks of redstone. For the metal former. So we need 32 blocks of iron. That's going to take quite a long time to make as well. What else have we got? What else can we do in these quests at the moment? So improvements is the next one, isn't it? So I was working on, well, this one we've completed. The rationing pipe, we haven't done that yet. And these ones here are a bit difficult because we need an enchanted book. And the enchanted book requires lots of ender pearls. We need, hmm, I think, is it one of three? I think that's what we have to do. It's something we can't do quite yet. Try again. Efficiency is what we need to do. We only really want efficiency once. You've got to keep going through all these recipes in here. Let's try to go the right way. Yes, we need three under pearls. Ten blocks of shiny, so we've got to wait until we get a bit more resources. Books, no problem. Blaze rods, no problem. Rotting flesh, no problem. But these two will be, because that means we need seven, uh, 90 ingots of shiny block, shiny metal, and three under pearls. So that's going to take a while before we can get around to doing that one. Um, what else have we got on our list here done? So that's that, and that then opens up this one. So that's efficiency and that's fortune. Cobble it up. Another assembly machine. So we've got to make a workbench plus as well. So how do we do that? Oh, well, there we go. So we need yeah, two blocks. That is not so much, but the diamonds are going to be a bit of a problem. A block of diamonds, nine diamonds, and I don't think I've got anywhere near nine diamonds. I think I've got two. No, one even. I think the block of gold we could deal with. Two blocks of gold plus six, not quite yet. But I suspect there's more than enough gold in here. Let's have a look. Oh. Yeah, just about enough, I think, for th for that. We need is it 1,400. I don't know. Yeah, it's 1,400 minus would give us 10 ingots. So it's just below 1,400 for that. Maybe 1,250 or something to do the actual get calculator track because I can't do 144 minus 9 in my head. Anyway, so what we can see, how long we got... What have we got here now? We've got 14 blocks. It's going to take all we see. Just 14 blocks after all this time. Or 15. 
and we need 32 so that's going to take a while too um, is there anything I can do that's useful at the moment not really desperately anything at the moment that we can do that's great that I can see maybe we can make a rationing pipe that's another useful thing we can do let's have a look how we do that one as well um, Where is it here? Uh, 16 glass and 32 stone slabs. So that's not too bad. So we'll get the stone slabs doing. So we'll get some cobblestone. How many are we going to need? Let's take 32 and put those in the, in the furnace over here. I hope I've got enough coal in there. Oops, I've moved the furnace, haven't I? straight past it that's a eight that's a, only four pieces of coal so we can do it this way a little smoke some of that down and we need some glass well that's not so bad now we can do that we needed 16 so that's basically 16 pieces of obsidian this I have got though here some nanotubes but not enough that only makes four worth diamonds worth I think just saw that make sure I'm not missing any yet for only got 13 so we really do need some moon rock okay I can remove these that and that'll then we can make some glass we need uh, 16 p uh, blocks of glass that's just four in the corners probably run out of power unless I have that's strange have I missed any here oh See, it says 16 now. I'd ask me what he was doing. And then we got our stone slabs. Probably got enough in here. Nine, that'll make... Uh, nine threes, six threes, 18. Oh, 36. Oh, how many do I need for that? Because I've completely forgotten. Rationing pipe. We need 32. So that's not too bad. We can put that into the assembly table. Put the four slabs in here. shall wait for that actually yes I'm gonna wait actually I'm gonna turn this off because I really do want these under pearls coming out of here because without that I'm stuck in terms of the quarry the w I could do it a different way but I think we're going to use ender pipe uh, ender chest anyway we could actually do this with um, buildcraft pipes let's do it like this actually can't do with that. I don't have the capabilities. Nope, doesn't work. Try again. So we have the oh, wooden fluid ducts. It might be easier to look for pipe, I might not it? So we have different types of pipes in Buildcraft, so we get your wooden transport pipe, which is just, it's very cheap actually, just two pieces of wood around a piece of glass, so that's no big deal. And we can use cobblestone ones as well, but we, we need quite a lot. We've got this cobblestone transport pipes, same thing, and that gives us eight. So we could do it that way, but I don't think that's a long-term solution anyway, because we're going to move the quarry some stage away from here and go a bit further along 
So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a short break, I think, and wait for these ender pearls. So I'll see you shortly. Well, waiting for these ender pearls is too long. I'm not going to. But I've got to do a few more bits and pieces in the meantime. So what we're going to do next is to create a wooden barrel. Um, crucible, wooden crucible is what we want. One of these. Oh, no recipes. Oh. How can I make water without a wooden crucible? I don't think you can do this in a stone crucible. Hmm. Alright, I can't do it. I'm not sure whether that's deliberate or not. Let me have a look at the usage of this, because I've actually been to the cactus and picked up some cactus. Oops. Let's do it like this. Yep, fine, we can put it in the assembly table, we can use it as fuel, we can macerate it, cook it. Ah, no, that just duplicates it. That'll turn into this, tools, I see. So we can use this in the um, chemical decomposer to make water. And we need this for the pump plus. I don't know whether what we need the pump plus for yet, but we'll have a look at that. It's probably the same as a Minecraft pump. So that's the only recipe we've got. Okay. Actually, that's probably a bit easier than what I was thinking of doing. So let's just do that to start with. Put those through into the chemical decomposer here. And you see we get uh, 60 water. So you actually get a reasonable amount of water. And we can put that water into the system over here that and they just disappear giving us a few more buckets so we got to I didn't actually count I think it was about six buckets wasn't it so that's how we do the that what uh, cactus to water um, so that wasn't what I needed to do <coughs> excuse me I need to make some more grow as well because I've run out of phyto grow well, so now what we need for that was this potassium nitrate wasn't it so look the recipe for that is um, not the right one. I'll try again. Yeah, of course you press R and it sorts them. So we basically need this recipe here and it'll give us 32. So, one salt. So potassium, we basically need this potassium here. Plus two coal dust plus one slag should give us some more grow. And I also wanted to upgrade that machine, but I was having a problem. Or was I having a problem? I've got an electron gear. I wanted to do it to level two. And for that I need signalum, wasn't it? And I can I what I probably could do is make a redstone furnace. Because we can make the blend, but we can't make the ingots yet. Anyway, let's just also make a tank while I'm here. These are just not that too expensive at the moment, so I can do one of these, no problem. And I'm going to get those crucibles from below as well. So what I was wanting to do was to make the recipe for this one, which says grow. We should be able to do this one. Yep. So we can do a stack of... Oh, of course, I've only got... Let's put two in there and that'll give us four stacks, two stacks. Yes, that should be enough. Let's put these two away. And then we can, I'll put that up there as well. Actually, I think I did that last time for the same reason. That's where we need it for this recipe. So I can put this into here now. And like that. And that'll carry on making this until the water runs out, which won't be very long as it happens. <coughs> So I'm feeling a bit lost today, I think, by the looks of it. Let's clear that recipe off. And we don't need the wood. Let's go and get outside and get that, la uh, that lava out of those crucibles. It's just coming up to night time. So I suppose the best way to do this is simply put it down here like that. Configure it so it pulls from the left hand side here. 
a little empty of this crucible out. Then we can break the crucible. What have we got for blocks at the moment? Not much. Let's just take a block. I should do also make some Tinker's Construct tools, because Tinker's Construct is in here. Now that's gone, so we can now take this. And then we can fill in this, because we don't, this is just a block there, so we don't need that block. Now we can take the tank and do the same again. Hopefully we'll be able to do all three. Yep. But might not be able to actually, so look. Let's bash that one down tight. I don't need some more materials. We'll use this block over here. Fill in this hole down here. Some very turf. I'll put the chest here. The tank here, I mean. So, what have we got in here? I'm not going to be able to do it with one. It doesn't matter too much because I, cause what I want it for. Actually, we could take away these as well. At least one of them. Next where you come from. We can put some more of these crucibles down here. In fact, if I put them at the end, it was probably a good place as it happens. Let's put them down. Let's put one down here, for example. And one, actually I won't do it to the other end, but here will be fine. Like that. Oh, I do need some more pipe, don't I? And I'll lift it upstairs. But the idea is, I want to show you that it actually works just as well when it's further apart. So let's just take this. And I haven't got my fluid nodes with me either. Oh, I'm not doing very well. <coughs> Making far too many mistakes, dreadful. I think I put everything away, didn't I, when I was trundling off to the um, to the quarry. I actually went trundle off to the quarry to get all the stuff back again, so let's get a look at the nodes. We've got three. And pipe. We've got 20. So what I want to do is to set this up. So we'll put the, the f we'll feed this down like this. Okay, so that's just oops. So I say you do keep away from that stuff. It's nasty because I took away this transfer node here. It starts to go up. So let's put the transfer fluid transfer node on here. What do I just do? Put it in the wrong place. Okay, we go and put it in the right place. Now we can go along and take this one away again. You'll see this is actually what I want to show is this is actually producing melting lava at speed is is five times. Didn't lose that good. And the same as this. So oh actually it's melting speed seven times. And here it's five. So it is more efficient when it's nearer to the oh when it's directly under the block, it's more efficient. But there's only one space where it's directly under the block of stuff, so that's not quite as good. But it's not too bad, is it? Let's go around this side here and um, put on here this other node. I have to break this. I stand back. So it's going to set on fire. I'll put the other node here like that. So those are all now feeding out into here, and we shall be getting a higher rate of obsidian. So we've got now 28. 29. So this is going to go up a lot faster. And as you can see, this lava here is 84%, well, 92%. It's actually not jumping up by percent. There it goes. Boom. Next one. That's working quite well. And of course, this, this still hasn't made an ender pearl. Well, anyway, between now and the next episode, I'm going to wait and
try to get these under chests made so we can carry on and also we'll have a rationing pipe we've seen how to do it and uh, so until then i'm going to say bye for now